Well, I went out to check my P.O. box and I got something from Australia. This might be from my Patreon supporter, Josh Stronach. We'll see. He was one of those who got peed on by urethra, McPizzle, Fosizzle, or Fosizzle, McPizzle. I'm not sure I got that. Oh, let me go ahead and open this up. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, I think it is from him. I mean, looks like this is a late Christmas card. It came from Australia, so it took a while for it to get here. <laughs> so I'll be, I'll be removing my LARPer, it looks like, from my uh, board here. Let's see what it says. It was dated 1220. Huh? Wait a minute. Anyways. Cool. Another Christmas card. <laughs> the overseas ones take a while. The man... Oh, by the way, it's like packages are so slow right now, I guess because of the coronavirus pandemic. That something that I ordered on December the 8th is just now arriving today. To dearest Empress President Gale, sending you lots of homosexual love. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not from him. And Eternal Worship Across Silver Skies. <laughs> That's the title of my novel. Let me read it. And Oceanic of Des Oceans of Desire, that you may reign supreme for all time. May your Christmas be the merriest, your new year the happiest. You are a light in a darkening world, a beacon of hope and a fountain of joy to billions of people. Never stop using your lightning bolts for the cause of true love and the betterment of all mankind. Much love, kisses, and hugs from Australia. From Guy Jackman, Hugh's nephew. Hugh Jackman's on my marriage list. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that's amazing. <laughs> I've got a lot of gay support. In fact, this shirt that I'm wearing is from one of my gay supporters. Isn't that nice? I liked it. I, it's, I wore it to, to go out to the uh, to the post office to pick this up. Well, thank you. That is really sweet. Oh, that is really sweet. I didn't know Hugh Jackman had a gay nephew. <laughs> well, thank you. I thought it was from Josh Stornack. So, wow, that's cool. Thank you. Now I got to put it on my corkboard. Let's see. Um, let's see here. Let's take the LARPer off. <laughs> Take the LARPer off. Okay, here's the LARPer. LARPer goes down here. Let's see, where will this... Um, you know what? I can make room for this. Let's move Pismo Beach over this way. I'm going to keep Bubba's card here. Yeah, with Bubba's card came uh, Brent Spiner's beautiful earrings that I, that I like to wear every time. Aren't they gorgeous? Sterling silver from Brent Spiner. Yeah, that was around the end of November. I got that. And then this is from Joshua J. Joshua. We'll keep him up here. He's very active on movie nights. and We have lots of fun on our Friday nights and talk about all sorts of exclusive stuff. Okay, let's see. I think if I just move these over like that. Okay, that's good. Move this one over here. That one's from Scotland. All right. This one I believe is from a. a all right. It works right there. Oh, that's awesome. I'm wondering if I can open it up. Eh, we'll do it this way. Yeah, but it doesn't stay, though. That's kind of cute, though. Guy Jackman Hughes' nephew. I didn't know you didn't know you had a gay nephew. That's cute. Okay. All righty. Oops. Hmm. There. There. 
They're all up there. I took the LARPer down. I knew I'd have to start taking some of them down. Let's see the LARPer. Yeah, the LARPer's down. What I do, though, I don't throw the cards out. I uh, save them in a, in a file. So when, when I take some of them down, I will uh, save them in a file. And now I wanted to talk about Jesus met with us on New Year's Eve day. And he, um, he did an update to the Gale Commandments for me because I've had problems with diarrhea. And uh, he said, if I keep on going at the rate I'm going, that on the wedding night between me and Brent Spiner, I'll have to wear a diaper. And he showed Brent a vision of our wedding night, and I was wearing a diaper. And Brent was about to make love with me, and he pulled the diaper off, and the diarrhea went all over the bed. And I thought, oh, no. And Brent said, and he showed up as Santa Claus. <coughs> Lori's bombs are making me cough. And, and, I, and Brent was horrified. He said, is this what our wedding night's going to be? What does this mean, Santa Claus? And I said, that's Jesus, Brent. He, he showed up as Santa Claus because he's, uh, he's uh, trying to show us how to prevent this from happening. So I'm going to have a link. I actually created a, a transcript of the conversation between me and Jesus and Brent and um, Zach Knight, where he's updated the Gale Commandments. I am not allowed to take any over-the-counter supplements at all. That includes Advil, Zyrtec, Sudafed. I know that seems extreme, but it appears that Laura, now Jesus didn't say this, but I kind of figured it out on my own. It appears that Lori McBride has come up with a technology now where her, her yeast bombs that she's dropping over our head, these yeast eat common over-the-counter supplements. So basically, if you take common over-the-counter supplements, especially if they're ones that I take, because she really likes to target me, like Zyrtec, um, Claritin, um, so phenylephrine hydrochloride, which is Sudafed, over-the-counter Sudafed, or um, other stuff I've been taking as um, even a Centra, Centra multivitamin. Jesus told me not to take any of that anymore. You say, well, it's allowed on the uh, on the Gale Commandments. It's allowed, but it's but basically Jesus allows it, but only now if it's prescribed by a doctor. And you say, what about Seroquel? You take Seroquel if, it, if it's prescribed for you by a doctor. So that's how that Gale commandment works. That's what I found out. Jesus is actually putting medicine in the air that works for a lot of people, but some people that have like really bad yeast infections, they need, like myself, they need to take Seroquel, you know. So, um, so he updated all the Gale commandments. Like, thou shalt eat a balanced diet without concerns about allergens or toxins using the method of calories in, calories out as a guide to weight management. What that means is um, when you make your recipes, you don't want to focus on ingredients that you think make you healthier. Just eat what you enjoy and eat a balanced diet, everything in moderation. And like what I was doing was... I figured I could make something that was healthy food, or at least I thought it was healthy food, and I made this turmeric meatloaf. The problem was I was trying to save money, so I was, I was making the meatloaf with five about five ounces of ground beef, and then I would use two-thirds cup of oats, two teaspoons of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of ginger powder in the meatloaf. That is a diarrhea disaster that I have, I have concluded that making that meatloaf is my number one diarrhea problem. That's why I was having diarrhea issues. There were other things going on too, but that was the main culprit. And here's another problem. That was also a violation of the Gale Commandments. By adding, I figured all those spices would make me healthier. <laughs> so that was a violation of the Gale Commandments. Because there's another Gale commandment that says, thou shalt take only one multivitamin and one allergy medication per day. In other words, that's the most you could take. And right now he's updated that. You'd only take that if it was prescribed by a doctor. 
and taking supplements or special foods like turmeric powder, ginger powder, in an attempt to improve a health condition or alleviate, some, alleviate symptoms is off limits. So because I was violating that Gale commandment, I made myself sick. But let me tell you how it works. You might say, well, turmeric is supposed to be like an anti-cancer. Anti yeah, but tur turmeric in excess can be a problem. It can cause digestive problems, diarrhea, bloating, gas. And another thing it does, which I didn't realize, is turmeric is an appetite stimulant. And I couldn't understand why I was hungry all the time. It was because I was eating this meatloaf that had two teaspoons of turmeric in it. Of course, I wasn't eating the whole two teaspoons, but even one teaspoon of ground turmeric a day is too much. So I was having bloating, gas, diarrhea, plus I, plus I, was, uh, I felt hungry all the time. So I did some research on turmeric and discovered some, of, yes, it's an appetite stimulant. So the days when I ate the meatloaf, I was ravishingly hungry. As a result of cutting back on the meatloaf, I'm starting to lose weight. I'm getting back to the weight that I had in my 20s where I weighed about 129 pounds. I weighed myself on the scale of about 131 right now on an empty stomach in the morning. Which means as a result of doing Jesus's, um, you know, his uh, Gale commandments, I've already lost about seven pounds. <laughs> I mean, the improvement. Um, so yeah, yeah. Another thing that I think Lori McBride's been doing, and I've been talking about this on my daily blog videos that I post for my Patreon supporters at $10 a month, is, and I've been going into detail about how I'm implementing all these changes. I think Lori has um, been using brain control on our bodies so that anything, especially me, that anything that I take on a daily basis She's instructing the body, and she can use brain control to do this because the brain controls the organs in the body and a lot of the metabolic functions. So she's using brain control to instruct the body to store up anything I take on a regular basis like Zyrtec, Sudafed, Centrum Vitamin, um, even extra spices in my food like turmeric, garlic powder, ginger powder to store them in my cells and cause them to build up, which has caused me to have toxicity where I have, where I have abnormally high levels of Zyrtec, ginger, turmeric, uh, phenylephrine hydrochloride, um, that's Sudafed, even, the, even what's in the Centrum vitamins. They've all been building up to toxic levels in my body simply because I've been taking them almost every day and Lori has been using brain control on my body to cause my body to store it in my cells. And she can even use the brain control to direct my body which parts of my body to store it in. So that's the reason I've had some insomnia issues over the past year. When I first got on Seroquel, I was sleeping beautifully because, you know, Seroquel makes you tired. But within the past couple years, I've had insomnia issues and I just didn't understand and diarrhea. A lot of it was because of Lori's new brain control. So now Jesus has updated the Gale commandments and he says you need to follow them to the letter, Gale, to the letter. He said no more over the counter. So for me, I got to stop taking all this stuff because it's been building up in my body. I've actually been going through Zyrtec withdrawal symptoms. I stopped the Zyrtec on New Year's uh, starting in the new year. It's funny how Jesus showed up on New Year's Eve day. <laughs> it's like he's a... <laughs> Look at my nose is turning red because I itched it. That could be part of the Zyrtec withdrawal symptoms. Uh, they say when you get off of Zyrtec, it can uh, cause your skin to itch. It's a, it's a Zyr especially since I believe my body's been storing it in the cells. So yeah. Now the runny nose, you know what I think is causing that? My body's been storing all that turmeric and that I've been taking in my cells. Turmeric and ginger and cumin, all these I've been using too much of. That stuff is making my nose water. That's why I always have this. And right now, now that my, now that Seroquel is able to t totally detox my body, it's taken all that stuff out of my cells that Lori used brain control to, uh, you know, to cause my body to build up over the years. So Jesus said, if you follow my instructions, you will gradually get better. That's what he said. So I, I do have 
If you want to read Jesus' update to the Gale commandments that he gave me, I will have a link to that underneath this video. Um, I said, Jesus, and then he also told me, Gail, you need to go to bed earlier. He's got a new rule for me. He said, you need to have dinner at 7 o'clock, no later than 8 p.m. every night. And he said, you, you have to be in bed no later than 9 p.m. So, yeah. And I said, but Jesus, one of the reasons I've been so late is trying to do all your Gail commandments. And Jesus said, well, you're overdoing some of them. He said, you don't need to vacuum every day. Once a week is enough. You don't need to dust every day. Once a week is enough and laundry once a week. So I misunderstood that Gail commandment. Though he did say, he said, you've got far too much clutter in your place and you really need to throw some stuff out. He said, there's stuff in your apartment that you don't use and you're just keeping it and hoarding it and it's making your place cluttered. And he said, how can you vacuum efficiently when you got too much junk all over the floor? He says, I want everything off the floor. He said, and so I'm working on that. I, I've been throwing out. I've got. I've been here since 2004, and I have got so much junk in my apartment. It's going to be a couple months process before I really pare everything down. So, yeah, I'm a hoarder, you know. So I'm doing everything he said. He's very strict about. Anyways, you can read the update to the uh, Gale Commandments underneath this video. Oh, by the way, John Ball Cora, thank you so much for that tire inflator for my car. You know, I, when I was driving, my steering wheel was really stiff and I couldn't understand it. You know why it was stiff? Especially like when I made turns, it's because all the tires were flat. So once I put air in all the tires, now it drives like a dream, man. The steering wheel's just fine. And I had told Brent and I said, he said, we're trying to figure out why your steering wheel is stiff and everything. I, it's simple. If you don't have enough air in your tires, you're steering, you're going to have trouble steering. <laughs> all my tires were flat. So... Yeah, I'm going to make sure to check my time. Now I can do it for free. And I'm going to uh, use that thing once a month to make sure the tires are good. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, just go ahead and check the uh, update to the uh, uh, Gale Commandments. If so. And remember, it appears that Lori's got technology now that anything you take every day over the counter or any ex so basically Jesus said for your diet he said I want you to have more variety and I said well I've been eating the same stuff to save money and he also told me he said Gail you don't need to buy bottled water anymore I don't want you to buy bottled water I said yeah but the tap water has got fluoride in it and all that stuff I don't want to drink all that and Jesus said well I've, I've inspired somebody to order you a Brita water filter and they have ordered it but it hasn't arrived yet so I you know what I discovered I did some online research if you simply boil your water it'll take the chlorine out of the water if you slow boil for 20 minutes your tap water and most tap water is safe to drink besides that even if it does have a little extra toxins in it um i think the seroquel will take it out so i'm gonna jesus basically wants me to go back to tap water so that's going to save me 20 dollars a month and i can have more variety and my goal when i go grocery shopping next time is instead of buying like three or four bags of or two bags of Granny Smith apples, and I love, I still, I'm not going to eliminate my, the foods I've been eating, but I'm going to introduce newer foods, have more variety, make sure it's more balanced, and I'm going to be less vegetarian. And I was really surprised, but Jesus said a vegetarian diet is not healthy. I was really shocked. He's he invented the human body. He's the smartest doctor in the world. So. I'm going to go, he's, I'm going to increase my meats, introduce more variety, and make sure everything's in moderation. I'm going to quit eating that turmeric meatloaf and make a different style of meatloaf, which is kind of like the meatloaf. And I also got a new recipe page of my favorite recipes in the 1990s before I became a health nut. And I'll have a link to that underneath this video yet. Yeah, underneath this video. So yeah, yeah, it's just been wonderful. All the Christmas cards and stuff. And, um... Uh, the update to the Gale Commandments is there for if other people are having problems with their body that doing the Gale Commandments doesn't seem to resolve for you. It could be because you're not doing them well enough or you've misunderstood something there. So Jesus' last meeting with me will help clarify that for a lot of people. It might help other people who are experiencing health issues that they can't seem to get rid of. So thank you all for all the wonderful Christmas cards. And uh, Jesus is good. And I love this shirt that Joshua J. Joshua got me. I've got lots of, a Friday night 
hangouts. We spend three hours, like 7 to 10 Eastern time, on Discord, and they get to meet with me and see me on video, and we chat and talk about also all the latest stuff that has been happening that week. I'm also posting um, for, for my Patreons. Oh, I'm posting, if you check my Facebook and Twitter, and also I'll have a link to Homura Tatsu, I'm posting a new episode every week of a, the story of my Catherine the Great Ancestors who lived around 1000 AD at my, um, at BitChute. And it's, you can access that. It's an unlisted video, which you can access via, um, via this web page that I created. So I'll have a link for that underneath this video. It's fascinating history. Uh, so thanks for all the Christmas cards. I had a wonderful Christmas. I have wonderful Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Thanks for everything. I just want to thank all of my patrons, and I love hanging out with you on our Friday night hangouts. And I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for your support.